Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. <coughs> Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to. Who's here today? Well, we've got Molly and we've got Robbie, but don't just sit there, buttons. Come on, let's have some fun. Hey, Per. On your pot. That's okay, we're going to just up here. Um, yeah. Paint with your fingers. Oh, look at the lovely colours, aren't they gorgeous? They're so bright. My darlings, let's hang them up to dry. Well done. Well, we've got Molly and we've got Robbie. But someone's missing from home today. Ah, oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Lisa with Raymond. Hello there, Raymond. Hiya, Granny Murray. <laughs> oh, and Lisa. Well done. Oh, in we come. Ooh, it's very colourful in here today. Yes, we've been doing some finger painting. <laughs> Lisa could join in too. I, it looks a bit messy. OK, then. Well, since you're here, my darling, we'll do something new. We'll stick all our favourite paintings on Claude. Okay. I better get out of the way or I'll get covered in paint too. Oh, good kiddo. Well done. You don't like mess, do you, Raymond? Not really, Granny Murray. I suppose it's because I'm forever cleaning up spilt drinks and sandwich crumbs in the buffet car. I just like things to be neat and clean. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so Claude's going to be an art gallery, is he? Yes. Would you like to do a painting for the one-man gallery de Claude? Mm, I don't think so. I'd probably get more paint on me than I would on the paper. Oh, Raymond, don't be so glum. Join in and have some fun. Glum? Me? Well, I'd definitely join in if, if it were a bit less, well, messy. Oh, will you look at Claude? He's a one-man walking art gallery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whoa. you look like a real work of art, Claude. You're like a... Genuine walking there rainbow. Thanks, Lisa. That's really lovely. <laughs> That's Lisa's handprints, and you won't get messy because we did them the other day. <laughs> okay. Lisa, big hugs. Right, I've got to get off to work now, Twinkle. Well, I better get to work. <laughs> Come on then, my flower. Now remember, don't be glum. Join in and have some fun. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. We'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, will you keep a wee eye on Raymond? Make sure he gets the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? OK, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Left! OK, left, to the station. I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that away Hello, taxi! Hello, tank! Hello, trolley! Hello, plank! Hello, lorry! Hello, bank! I go down. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Up! You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. <sighs> Great. I've arrived. So what next? Aha! I have to change out of these clothes and put on my work clothes. Dressed and ready to go. Hmm. Now where will I pop Lisa's painting? Hmm. Oh dear, 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 dear. What's this doing here? 
This is a boofy car, not an art gallery. I wish people would put their litter in the bin. <laughs> oh, hello, Mickey John. What can I get for you? I, I put a sign up here. Where's it vanished to? A sign? For the creative train. What on earth is a creative train? Oh, it's an idea I had to get everyone travelling to be creative. The train company love the idea. People can uh, write a story or a poem or paint a picture while they travel. Oh, well that sounds like a lovely idea, but this area is reserved for refreshments only. We'll just have to use the next carriage. Good. Do you want to join us? Oh, I'd love to, but I've got work to do. You know where to find us if you change your mind. More litter. Oh, <laughs> this is Lisa's painting. I wonder if Lisa is enjoying nursery. I wish I could be a fly in the wall to see Lisa at nursery. Are you having fun, Daddy? That is the perfect place for your painting, Lisa. <laughs> Phew! Just in time. <laughs> Sorry, Raymond. <laughs> uh, um, is this the painting car? Oh, no. Uh, that's the, the next carriage along, just along there. Oh, thanks. I see you're going into the creative train mode. Me? Really? That's a very arty look. Cheese and onion, is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow! I see you're a painter as well as a trendsetter. Hmm, good for you, Raymond. Oh, well, I'd best get all this stuff through to Mickey John. I'll see you later. Painting? Oh, no, but I didn't paint it. Oh. Well, never mind. I'd better get down to some hard work. I love my train. I love to do chocolate, lemonade, or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, making special moments on my way. I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast. Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. Being nice is what I love the most. Six, six, seven, looking fine. Six, seven, So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help you clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to this way. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day. Bringing smiles and happiness my way. I love my train. I heard you painted a picture after all. Well done, Raymond. It's fantastic. And the first one on the creative train today. But I didn't paint it. That gives me an idea. Can we hang some of the other paintings around the carriage? More paintings? Oh, hi, Mickey John. Um, have you seen Raymond's painting? Yeah, it's great. And so are some of these. Check these out. Oh, I love them. And Raymond says we can hang them around the carriage. Did I? Cool. There's plenty more where these came from. <laughs> now, you won't mind if I leave this here for a moment, will you? Well, I... Badge making equipment. Badges are great fun to make and wear. I'll make one for you. But what... <laughs> there you go, Raymond. One smiley face badge just for you. That was quick. Now, I need someone to look after the badge making equipment while I go and check on the poetry carriage next door. Have fun. Maybe I could make a badge for Lisa. The hole right down in the middle. Right there. That's pretty long in the center, isn't it? 
Let's see how yours is doing. Whoa! <laughs> That's okay. Oh. Hey. Ah, you want those fingers to be wet. Making a pot's a lot harder and messier than I thought it was. <laughs> I don't know what your dad will say about this, Angel. I'm thinking of you, Daddy. <laughs> Where did these come from? Poetry carriage. Raymond, I need you to pick a winner out of this lot. After all, you know your Shakespeare from your Winnie the Pooh, don't you? No, Mickey John. I already have a job to do. Oh, good afternoon. What can I get for you today? A, a drink? A sandwich? Well, we'd like to know where the gig is. Gig? The Ferry Boat Band is the Creative Train's musical entertainment. Oh, wow. This is the most popular carriage of all. What's happening? Well, what's happening here is we are clearing out everyone and everything before someone or someone <laughs> gets knocked over. Oh, dear. My Buffy car is an absolute mess. And I'm still only halfway through my day's work. How did this happen? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped Lisa off at Granny Murray's. The children were already busy making finger paintings. At nine o'clock, I arrived at work. Mickey John arrived and told me that my Buffy car was going to be part of a creative train. At ten o'clock, Bobby came aboard with a load of painting things. She bumped against my counter and covered me in crisps. At one o'clock, Mickey John asked if he could hang paintings in my Buffy car. Bobby came in with a load of paintings and Mickey John littered my counter with bag making equipment. At two o'clock, Mickey John asked me to judge the poetry the passengers had written on the creative train. I didn't think there was time, especially when Dr Juno and the ferry boat band climbed on board the train. It was so crowded in my buffy car that when the train pulled out of the station, all the paintings, badges and poems went tumbling on the floor. What a mess! Now remember, don't be glum. Join in and have some fun. Don't be glum. Join in and have some... Of course! Join in and have some fun. Hold it, everyone. I've just had an idea which will make this the greatest creative train ever to hit the tracks. It just needs a little bit of organisation. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. He's going to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Hello everyone on board this special creative train. I hope you're having a fun time. Yay! And if you could all make your way to the buffy car, you can collect a tea, coffee or juice for free. Yay! <laughs> If music be the food of fun, play on, fairy boat band, play on! Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints come marching in, I want to be in that number, oh, when the saints come marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, I want to be I wish Lisa were here to see this. Your pots look fantastic now. Wait till my friend puts them in the kiln. Oh, they'll be brilliant. But here, I think we better get cleaned up. I don't know what your dad will say when he sees the mess we're in. <laughs> where are you, Daddy? <laughs> Hiya, 
Don't even worry. Look who's here, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Have you had a good day? Oh, we've had a fast <laughs> day. <laughs> And are you going to say thank you to Granny Murray? Thank you, oh, Granny come here, Murray. Oh, darling. Oh, she's been the best girl, haven't you? And it's a big thank you to you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Don't be glum. Join in and have some fun. <laughs> it saved the day. Well, I never did. Come on, you two. You'll want to be off home. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, sharing, choosing, talking, cooking, Bye. grinding, Bye. cleaning, saving, cleaning, Bye. loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, picking up and putting down. Then there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, baking, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding. Jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as an art gallery, all covered in paintings, because today was a creative day for everyone. Then we dropped Lisa off at the nursery, where she made a train out of modelling clay. When nursery was over, Lisa joined me and the others at my friend the Potter's studio. <laughs> we got very messy spinning clay on the Potter's wheel before we baked the finished pots in the pottery kiln. Raymond had had a great time on the creative train making badges. They looked super. It must have been great fun. I'm sure he had lots of stories to tell Lisa about his day as they made their way home. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has one at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. <laughs> who's here today? Well, I've got precious. But don't just sit there, puppet. Come on, let's get busy. <laughs> Well, what do you think this is? A tractor. Yes, but today's really special because it's Lisa's birthday. <gasps> so we're going to make her a birthday card. Yay. Is that a good idea? Yeah. Oh, what do you think? I'm so excited. And stick, can you put some nice blobs? I've got precious, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Lisa! Yes, with Tina! Hello there! <laughs> Tina! <laughs> and Lisa, come on, we do high Oh, the birthday girl's here! <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday! <laughs> uh, Granny Murray, um, do you know what Lisa's favourite nursery rhyme is? <gasps> Well, she always asks me to sing Old King Cole. <laughs> oh, why don't you all dress Claude up as Old King Cole? Oh, shh, Granny Murray. It's meant to be a surprise. <laughs> well, we're going to have a secret chat at the chairs. <laughs> What's the surprise? Well, I'm going to ask the Ferry Boat Band to make a special recording of Old King Cole on a CD as a birthday present for Lisa. That's a fantastic <laughs> idea. Who's going to sing the words? Dr Juno. Oh, great. Oh, by the way, here's your invitation to Lisa's birthday party. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm afraid I'll be working most of the day. I think I'll probably miss the party. I really wanted Lisa to have a special birthday. Oh, it will be special, Tina. We'll have jelly and cake and we'll put up decorations. <laughs> After all, with a bit of thought, you can make everyday things look really special. Can you? Well, <laughs> I hope so. Oh, look at Claude. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> or Your Royal Highness. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd best be off to work. Give us a hug, Lise. Oh, have a happy party, birthday girl. <laughs> Come on, then. Bye. 
And remember, you can make everyday things look special. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> now, will you keep a wee eye on Tina? Make sure she gets the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charm Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go that way or do I go this? Which way's I hit? And which way's I miss? Left! Okay, left to the garage. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, builders. Oh, hello, hat. Hello, flower. Hello, cat. Hello, green man. Hello, flower. Okay, down. You showed me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. <laughs> Thanks for helping me get to work. Okay, right now it's time to get changed for work. All dressed and ready to go. Hi, Tina. Hello, Mickey John. Do you want to lift in my taxi? Not today, but what I do need is a prop to do with dancing. I'm teaching all the children in my class about the history of dance today. Have a look round our box of stage props. You might find something there to help you. Thanks. A metronome. Hear that? Tick, 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 tick. It sets a beat to dance to. I think the children in my class will love this. Can I borrow it? Of course. Thanks. See you later. Bye, Mickey John. Nine o'clock. I bet Granny Murray's just dropping Lisa off at nursery. I love to skip in Riversy Bingo, Riversy Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Bingo, Riversy Bingo, that's for me. Bye bye, Lisa. I'll see you soon, Angel. Oh, good girl. Bye bye. I wish I could be a fly in the wall to see Lisa at nursery. All your recording equipment. Yep, we're looking forward to singing Old King Cole, aren't we, Chuck? Oh, yes, ready to rattle my crown and bogle. <laughs> you both look fantastic. Say cheese. Cheese! Brilliant. Now, I'll leave you to set up and I'm off to work. Bye. Bye. City roads are waiting oh. Traffic lights are changing Police cars are cruising The trucks keep on trapping And the city roads are waiting for me To take a drive in my pretty pink taxi, taxi. People wave me down in my pretty pink taxi Get into the back and just relax for the She's going for a drive Look in the mirror and shift that gear Pull out to the busy lane, my pretty pink taxi takes a strain Oh, the radio 
calls up a taxi fare, who am I going to meet? Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi, oh! Woo! Cruise in the city in my pretty pink taxi, yeah! Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi! To rock and roll, Tina. All we need now is Dr. Dr. Juno. Hi, everyone. Oh, hello, Dr. Juno. Oh, listen, thanks for coming along to sing old King Cole for Lisa. Wow, this is the business. <laughs> Here, take my crown to get you into the vibe, babe. Okay, let's hit it. A one, two, three, four. Oh, King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his ball, and he called for his fiddle. Twiddle-dum, twiddle-dee, when the fiddlers three Twiddle-dum, twiddle-dee, twiddle-dum, twiddle-dee Twiddle-dum, twiddle-dee, when the fiddlers three Twiddle-dum, dum, twiddle-diddle-dee Oh, perfect! Thanks, Tina! There you go! Oh, is that the recording? Yep, take good care of it! I will, don't worry. I'll just nip home, bunny onto CD, ready to give to Lisa. See you later! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lisa is going to love her song. I love to skip in River Sea Ping, go River Sea Ping, go that's for me. Oh, this is my voice! This is my voice! Oh, oh you chicken <laughs> pictures! You chicken pictures give a few big friends! Get a little skinny! That's it, go to start the game! Okay, I'll turn again. Granny money and I didn't hear a thing. Oh, Lisa, your mum will be home soon and I'm sure she'll want to join in the fun, won't she? I love you, Mummy. Hi, Tina. Oh. <laughs> Sorry it's taken so long. My computer crashed and I needed to fix it before I could make Lisa's CD. Oh, thank you, Dr. Juno. Lisa will be thrilled. Well, here it is. Sorry I didn't get the time to make a case for it. Bye. No, thanks, Dr. Juno. That's not a very special present, is it? I mean, I've tried to get to Lisa's party. I I've tried to get Dr Juno to make her a great CD. And I've tried to make her present really brilliant. But nothing's gone right. What went wrong? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's. Lisa got a digger birthday card. And the children dressed up Claude like old King Cole. Granny Murray gave me an invitation to Lisa's party. She promised to make it really special because I was going to miss most of it. At nine o'clock, I got to the garage under the arches and changed for work. Mickey John called by. He wanted to borrow one of our stage props to teach his class about dancing. At 11 o'clock, the ferry boat band arrived to set up the recording equipment because I had asked him to record a special CD of Lisa's favorite nursery rhyme, Old King Cole. At three o'clock, I got back to the garage. Dr Juno arrived to help with the singing. She sang Old King Cole as the ferry boat band played. It sounded fantastic. Then Dr Juno went home to burn the song onto a CD. At four o'clock, Dr Juno came back with Lisa's CD. Her computer had given her trouble and she hadn't managed to make a cover for the CD. So Lisa's present doesn't look at all exciting. Now remember, you can make everyday things look special. Make everyday things really special? Well, of course. There are lots of everyday things in the garage. And I can use the photos I took to make Lisa's CD really special and make my taxi look really special too. Well, Lisa will love it. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. 
I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure, she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm going to beat the clock before the chime I'm going to sort it She's going to sort it I'm going to do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do you like my disco taxi? <laughs> Me too And the photos of Dr Juno in the ferry boat band make a brilliant cover for Lisa's CD <laughs> Well, I think it's time that old King Cole went to the party I can't wait to see Lisa's face when I get there. I'm coming, Lisa. <laughs> oh, so it is clever, Gero. Hello, Tina. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Will you look at this? It's a disco taxi. All aboard. Oh, come on, Lisa. <gasps> look at that. A disco ball. Oh, clever, Gero. Let's play your new CD, Lisa. Oh, King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his ball, and he called for his fiddler three. Every fiddler had a fiddle fine, and a very fine fiddle had he. Twiddle dum, twiddle dee, when the fiddler three. Twiddle dum, twiddle dee, twiddle dum, twiddle dee. Twiddle dum, twiddle dee, when the fiddler three. Twiddle dum, dum, twiddle diddle dee. Woo! Let's go! Let's go crazy! Look who's here, Lisa! <laughs> Hello, Lisa! <laughs> Hello! Will you say thanks to Granny Murray? Oh, I've been squeezing, I do! <laughs> oh, and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. You can make everyday things really special. <laughs> oh, is that so? <laughs> Come on, you want to be home. Hello, Lisa. Bye-bye, my darlings. Looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, dancing, dusting, sharing, choosing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, picking up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as Old King Cole because it was Lisa's birthday today and Old King Cole was her favourite nursery rhyme. We dropped Lisa off at nursery. She must have had a wonderful time as everyone sang Happy Birthday! After nursery, it was time for Lisa's birthday party. We had jelly and cake and played games. Lisa had a fantastic surprise. Tina had made her taxi into a disco taxi. We drove around the city as we listened to Lisa's new CD. She loved it. Do you like going to birthday parties? <laughs> Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to who's here today? Well, we've got Molly and we've got Ellie. But don't just sit there, my wee bricks. Come on, let's get busy. What's in Granny Murray's house today? Any Ellie, can you hold it, darling? No. We are going to make a toy train. Here we are, that's us. Big <laughs> string here, nice bow. Now girls, can you take my toy train 
for a ride. Choo choo! <laughs> oh my! Well, we've got Ellie and we've got Molly, but someone's missing from home today. <laughs> oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, it's Raymond with Lisa. Hello there. <laughs> Raymond. Hiya, Granny Murray. Oh, and Lisa. Oh, so it's a bit dangerous leaving this long train of toys on the floor, Granny Murray. Health and safety, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, a royal train? That's given me an idea. Why don't you dress Claude up? as a different sort of train. A royal train, fit for a king. <laughs> oh, and uh, we'll get out from under their feet, Raymond. Would you care to hop aboard the Granny Murray Express? I don't mind if I do. Choo-choo! <laughs> 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 oh, what the? Oh, no probs, just a toy. Oh, Granny Murray, you really should be more careful about leaving toys lying everywhere. Spot. <laughs> no, health and safety. Toys can be hazardous. You can trip over toys if they're left on the floor. You should tidy things up as you go along, like I do. Well, that might work very well aboard your train, Raymond. But with a busy house full of children, <laughs> sometimes you need to clean up after others. Mm. Ooh, and Claude looks like a bit of a hazard too in that long train. Oh, I was a wonderful hazard in my wedding day. I had a huge long train, twice as long as Claude's, all white lace and satin. <laughs> oh, it must have been quite a job to wear that. Oh, well, it was for my wee bridesmaids. They had to hold it above their heads. And one was so exhausted, she curled up <laughs> right in the middle of my train and fell fast asleep. Oh, <laughs> well, you'd never find me asleep aboard my train. <laughs> oh, no. Health and safety. Exactly. <laughs> and also, it just wouldn't look good. Well, talking of looking good, look at King Claude. <laughs> Oh my, don't you look a picture in your royal train. Daddy, <laughs> here you go. Oh, thanks, Lise. Oh, <laughs> it's a pullback car. How cool. Oh, well, that's got him excited, Lisa. Come on, off to work with you. <laughs> right, must go. <laughs> now remember, sometimes you need to clear up after others. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Raymond and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm a bit late for work today. Can you tell me a quick way to get there? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Take a take a ticket on the metro. I'll be 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 there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the train lines. Clatter, clatter, clatter at the points. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter through the streets. Now squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I really, really need to get to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, we're here. But before I can get down to some work, I have to change. So, busy, busy, busy. Ha! All dressed and ready to go. Oh, eight o'clock. On the dot. Excellent. Hello, Raymond. Oh, didn't know you was working on the Molly Moore train today. Oh, yes, I just go what I'm told. So, are you off to see your mum? Yeah, I said I'd give her a hand spring cleaning her house today. Mm. That's what this is for, see? Oh, it's this fab new cleaning fluid that we're using at the buses right now. It's brilliant, and it'll make cleaning the house twice as fast. Would you like a bottle? I've got plenty left for mum. Me? No, I have my very own special cleaning liquid that I use on the train. In fact, this is much better than anything you can buy in the shops. Look, one squirt of this, and the stains and dirt are history. <laughs> See? Wow! Mm. Mm, that is very good. But my cleaning fluid is hygienic too. It cuts through grease and oil. Grease and oil? <laughs> I can honestly say that I have never had a problem with grease or oil in my buffet car. Well, I'll leave you a bottle anyway, just in case. You never know when it might come in handy. Catch you later. Handy? I very much doubt it. <laughs> 
Grease and oil indeed. On my boofy car. Now, Lise, let's see how fast your car can go in this new shiny track. Oh! <laughs> I hope you're having as much fun as me at Granny Murray's, Lisa. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Oh, well done, my darling. Good job. There we are. Oh, could you water the plants now, my angel? Thank you. There we are. Oh, Lisa, we'd better put that rake away in case somebody trips over it, Emma, darling. Thank you. Oh, your daddy would be very proud of you. <laughs> Keeping Granny Murray's garden nice and tidy and safe. I want to be with you, daddy. Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you nearly had an accident there, Raymond. Thanks to you, I didn't, Dr Juno. Can I have a cup of coffee, please, Raymond? Certainly. Oh, I hope this coffee perks me up for my conference on office management. As if I haven't got enough to do helping people get better back at the hospital. Office management is key to the smooth running of any business, Dr Juno. Oh, really? <laughs> Quite. That's pound fifty, please. Okay. Thank you. I think I manage my office quite well, to be honest. Ooh, I've got some pretty neat gadgets. Gadgets? Yeah. I've got an electric stapler. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, almost as cool as this. Oh, an electric hole punch. Oh, efficient and safe too. Yes, safe too. Well, thanks for the coffee. I've got to get off the next stop. <laughs> See ya. And it's high time I got on with some hard work. I love my train. I'm so happy being me. Doing all the things I love to do. Chocolate, lemonade or tea I'm just very happy serving you Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day Making special moments on my way I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day Bringing smiles and happiness my way Being nice is what I love the most Six, 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 I'm looking fine Six, no, go, I'll we'll be on time Five, six, rolling, one behind So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help you clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to the sweet. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day. Bringing smiles and happiness my way. I love my train. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Mickey John. What can I get for you today? Oh, nothing, thanks, Raymond. Uh, Bobby told me you were working today, so I thought I'd pop by and show you this. Oh, that's a fantastic model steam engine, Mickey John. Uh, does it work? Like a dream. So, uh, do you fancy trying it out before I leave it at my friend's house in Helen's Brit? You bet. Uh, why don't we give it a run all the way along the floor? Yes, great. Right, I'll fire her up. You go down there and catch it when it comes over. OK. <laughs> right, just oil up the wheels before we let her go. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. It's a shame Lisa isn't here to see it. She would love it. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Can you put that cushion up there? Finish off Granny Murray's racetrack. Well done. Oh, it's exciting. Right, pull it right back. Keep it nice and straight. Go. Oh, oh no, we both crashed! Dr. 
girl. Okay, that's a big crash. You keep it nice and straight. On your marks, get set, go! Oh! <laughs> hey, well done, Lisa. I can see you, Daddy. Do you know, are you okay? Yes, thankfully. Oh, I certainly feel a lot safer if you were a little bit more efficient keeping the rest of your buffet cart as clean as your counter, Raymond. But, Dr. Juno, I, I don't understand. I've been working hard all day, serving my customers, stacking my shelves and making sure everything is clean, tidy and safe. But Dr. Juno nearly did a loop-de-loop. -loop. What did I do wrong? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's and I nearly took a tumble when I tripped over a long train of toys. At eight o'clock, I arrived at work and met with Bobby, who tried to convince me her cleaning fluid was better than mine at shifting grease and oil. <laughs> Imagine, in my buffy car. At eleven o'clock, Dr Juno popped by for coffee and showed me some of her gadgets that helped her run an efficient office. Oh, they were great fun. At one o'clock, Mickey John brought his model steam engine to show me. We let it run along the floor in the buffy car. <laughs> it was brilliant fun. At three o'clock, Dr Juno slept as she rushed to leave the train. She said it was my fault, but how could that be? Now remember, sometimes you need to clean up after others. Sometimes you have to clean up after others. Of course. The floor must have been covered in oil from Mickey John's model steam engine. I should have cleared up after Mickey John. The only thing that will shift that grease and oil is Bobby's cleaning fluid. So it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. He's going to start it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. You know, Bobby's right. Her cleaning fluid saved bags of time. In fact, I think I've even got time for a nice cup of tea before we have to set back to River Sea Fingal. Oops. Oh no, what was that? Ah. Your coffee took a tumble, did it? <laughs> Not to worry. I have this cleaned up in a jiffy. Ooh, there you are now. <laughs> and I'll just pop over and get you a fresh coffee. <laughs> Perfect. I wonder if my wee scamp is helping Granny Murray keep her house clean. <laughs> or making a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, look at your chin. Look at your chin. Oh, me too. Oh dear. What would Daddy say? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, thanks, Lisa. I miss you, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's here. Hello, Daddy. Hello, my girl. <laughs> Have you had a good day with Granny Murray? Yes. Oh, we certainly did, didn't we, darling? What do you say to Granny Murray? Thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. And it's a big thank you to you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Sometimes you have to clean up after others. It saved the day. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. 
what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a king today with a long royal train. Claude's train reminded me of the beautiful train I had worn with my wedding dress. Raymond didn't seem too interested. He was more worried about tripping and sitting on toys and making things safe. Later on, Lisa and I tidied up the garden. Raymond would have approved of Lisa and I putting away the tools safely when we'd finished with them. We had lots of time left to have fun with our model racing cars. They certainly zipped along quickly. Raymond was having fun too, watching Mickey John's steam engine running along the floor of his boofy car. It was lucky too that he remembered in the end that sometimes you need to clear up after others. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Brian and we've got Decca. But don't just sit there, cheeky monkeys. Come on, let's have some fun. We're all going to do a lovely seaside picture. Orange or yellow. yellow. A nice yellow. But we have a wee boat, but we have yeah. a pink boat. boat. Oh, look at our lovely picture. <gasps> well, we've got Brian and we've got Decca. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Lisa. Yes, with Tina. Hello there. Oh, hi, Granny Murray. And Lisa. Come away, please. <laughs> wow, what a brilliant painting. <laughs> yes, we've been doing pictures of boats. Oh. <laughs> In fact, why don't you guys dress Claude up as a sailor? <laughs> Good idea. On you go, Flower. And why don't we sail over there for a wee sit down? Oh, aye aye, Captain Tina. <laughs> <laughs> well, funny that you should be painting pictures of boats, because today I'm taking my old auntie on the ferry boat. We're going to sail across to Belgium, and when we get there, we're going to have a picnic. Oh, nice. And then after that, we're going to drive around and see the sights. Oh, wonderful. I want it to be an extra special day for Auntie Sophie. Well, doing something different will make the day special. Oh, you're right. I always like to make a fuss of Auntie because when I was a little girl, she always used to make a fuss of me. Do you know, I think I let the children make a fuss of me today. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> oh, look at Claude, ready to set sail into the blue. <laughs> Hello, sailor. Oh, is that for me, Lisa? Oh, oh yeah. Aye, aye, Granny Murray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bye, Lisa. <laughs> now, you be sure to make a fuss of Granny Murray today, OK? <laughs> yeah. See you later, love. Come on. <laughs> now, remember, doing something different will make the day special. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city view Stepping along I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charm Getting there is just so fine so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go that way or do I go this? Which way's a hit and which way's a miss? Hey! Okay, left to the garage I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that way Hello builders Oh, hello hat Hello flower Hello cat Hello green man Hello flat She's on her way to work today Looking this way and that's a win Hey! Do I go up 
desperate now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Down! Okay, down! You showed me the way to go Thank you, you showed me the way I know Thanks for that. Now what's next? Oh yes! I have to get ready for work. <laughs> Ship shape. <gasps> well, nearly ready. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the one, the only, Auntie. <gasps> Hello, Auntie Love. Hello, Auntie Sophie. <laughs> are we all ready? Yes, I, I think we are. Drive carefully, Auntie Love. <laughs> And here's a picnic for both of you. Oh. I've put in lots of treats. Oh, <laughs> you angel! <laughs> right, I better get off to work. Love you. Me too. Have a great day, Auntie. I hope Lisa is making a fuss of Granny Murray. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle. Granny Muddy, would you like a cup of mess me? Uh -huh. Would you like a seat? Would you like a drink? Would you like an ice cream? <gasps> oh, Lisa! Your mum would be so proud if she could see the way you were looking after Granny Muddy. <laughs> Where are you, Mummy? Tina! Dude, what are you doing here? Uh, Chuck, Louie, this is my Auntie Sophie. Hi, Aunt Sophie. Are you having a crazy day out? Well, not too crazy, I hope. <laughs> well, whatever you decide to do later on, we're here to make sure that you have the best ferry boat ride. Oops, we're about to set sail. Oh, <gasps> time to start work. Oh, how exciting. Oh, yes, Tati. <laughs> The ferry boat band that play the ferry boat sails away Floating down the river to the ocean waves The captain steers his way as engine pound away Churning down the river to the rhythm of the band The radar swings, the ferry band sings The captain taps his satellite map Sailing out to sea on the new tide Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bump to the music and stamp your feet As the ferry for band they play the way to servants way Clattering the trays to the splash of the waves The sailors work away as passengers dream their day Eating in the buffet as the ferry band play Who's oh, sailing out to sea, riding on the waves Rocking to the ocean rock as the ferry boat band did play some more Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beat Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet Oh, well done, you guys. That was great. <laughs> right, come on, Auntie. Time to go. Oh, are we here already? We certainly are. Well, the time flew past, thanks to you oh. two. <laughs> right, come on. Let's go and get le taxi and hit le roads. <laughs>
tea. Would you like a napkin? Mm. Much as your coat. What a smashing picnic. You are making such a wonderful fuss of me. <gasps> well, I hope Lisa's making a fuss of Granny Murray. I love to skip in Riversy Bingo, Riversy Bingo, by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Bingo, Riversy Bingo, that's for me. Now, are you <laughs> now, Lisa, it's my turn to make a fuss of you. There you are. Did you enjoy your sandwich? <laughs> I wonder how Mummy's getting on with Auntie on their special day out. <laughs> I am fun, Mummy. Hop in and I'll show you the sights. OK, well, let's hit the road. <laughs> Sit. Let's hit the road. Problems? Is there a problem, dear? Eh? Oh, no, no problem. Uh, just a little false start. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, poor Auntie. I've been working so hard all day to make sure she has a great day out. And now we're supposed to be driving round looking at the sights. But my taxi won't start. And we're stuck here. Oh, where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I called in at Granny Murray's and dropped off Lisa. I was excited because I was taking Auntie Sophie for a day out on the ferry boat. Granny Murray was excited because she was going out for the day with Lisa. At eight o'clock, Raymond called into the taxi garage with Auntie Sophie. He put together a picnic for us to share when we arrived in Bruges. I took Auntie across the city in my taxi, all the way to the ferry boat. I drove my taxi onto the ferry boat and, at ten o'clock, the ferry boat set off across the sea. The time passed quickly because we were having such a laugh with Chuck and Louie, the ferry boat band. They sang songs and kept us entertained all the way across the sea. At one o'clock, I drove my taxi off the ferry boat and at two o'clock, we stopped for a picnic. Auntie Sophie enjoyed the lovely food that Raymond had prepared for us. But when it was time to go, my taxi just wouldn't start. Now remember, doing something different will make the day special. Doing something different will make the day special. I planned to take Auntie around in my taxi. But while I get my taxi fixed, Maybe there's something different we can do that will make the day even more special. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? She know how to fix it. Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, she'll get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm going to do it. She's going to do it. I'm going to beat the clock before the time. I'm going to sort it. She's going to sort it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Lovely to see the city from a horse-drawn carriage. Oh, it certainly was. I've had such a wonderful day out. Thank you so much for making such a fuss of me. Oh! <laughs> In you go. <laughs> I wonder how my Lisa got on today. <laughs> right, we teddies. Time for tea. Let's have some juice. Mmm. 
we'll give them a wee picnic, just like the one we had at the cafe earlier. That's it. Who would like some cake? <laughs> oh, this is good fun, isn't it? I wondered if your mum's having a lovely picnic, Lisa. I miss you, Mummy. Granny Murray have both the fab day. Oh, we sure did, didn't we? Thank you. Oh, <laughs> my wee angel. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Doing something different will make the day special. It saved the day. Oh, I'm pleased. Right, come on, you two. Let's get <gasps> your coat on. Yeah. Oh. Bye, my darling. <laughs> I'm looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> and I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, picking up and putting down. Then there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, baking, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up. was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a sailor because we were making pictures of boats on the sea and Tina was taking her auntie for a trip on the ferry boat. It was definitely a day for doing something different. Lisa made a fuss of me all day. She took me round the park and made sure I had a fabby time. Then I took Lisa for lunch and made a fuss of her. We had a pretend picnic on the living room floor and we made a fuss of the teddy. Tina was having a very special day with her auntie. They made the day different by taking a ride on a horse-drawn carriage. I think Tina's auntie had a wonderful day out. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. City, where the fairy boat stands the blue. Time to call on Granny Murray. She'd love to.